I think Elliott's in good shape though. He's an outside behind Ron Fellows and Fellows is good. Don't leave your couches because it's getting ready to get crazy. 28 corners, eight miles, fuel's tight. Michael McDowell, left of your screen, leading Ron Fellows, right of your screen is second. It's Allgaier and Sadler in row two. Green, white, checker, number two. Here we go. Great play. Check out Algar. He's going to get the spot away from Fellas. Wow, contact. Oh. Seven's off the track. What a save. Still more contact. They're just beating and banging oh, herself all through these corners. Look at this. He's trying to push him off. The damage on the left front of Jason Luffer's I car. Think, I think Fellows had enough of that. He was second. Now he's sixth. Hey, goes Algar for the lead. That would be a tough corner for Algar on outside like this. That's Jason left foot. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, oh. Overshoots the corner. Algar is through You're the all clear, spot. You're all clear. Holy cow. Where did Algar come from? Carmichael, Carmichael. Off. McDowell's off again. Now he gets hit. He's sliding through the grass. A win is disappearing from Michael McDowell. Behind him, there's cars scattered everywhere off turn six. Unbelievable. It could happen, though, and it's happening. Justin Algar drove a smooth race throughout the day. Kept it on the track, driving great. Now he's leading this thing with patience. Ron Fellows is back to second. Here he comes in the seven. Caution is out oh, now. for all those cars oh, scattered off of turn six. There's Steve Wallace, one of them. Alex Kennedy in the gravel trap. Well, this is going to change everything. A lot of cars are going to have to pit. Oh, look at that. Eric McClure to clean this up. I think a lot of cars are going to have to pit here because this, this is going to take a long time yeah, to clean up. Yeah, it's too long now. You may see everybody on pit road. How about Algar taking the lead on that restart? Shut off saving fuel. Check this out. Justin Allgaier and Michael McDowell coming down to turn five. He gets on the outside, has to give up the spot right here. It's just going to try a crossover, and McDowell just overshoots the corner, gets off the track. Now, he's okay. He's running second at that point. Still there. Still there. You're all clear, bud. You're all clear. <laughs> <laughs> that spotter's excited. Yeah, he is. So, Allgaier <laughs> is out in front. Michael McDowell, who was the race leader, ended up off the course. <laughs> and watching for him to come by. McDowell's back in 18th. Trying to figure out where Algar came from on that restart. It was just all of a sudden he's beside McDowell. So much going on. We only have two eyes to be able to watch it all. So let, let's watch the exit of turn number three, which is the corner that set up that long downhill run to the corner where he where he made the pass. McDowell had cleared fellows going into one. Allgaier hung in there. Here he comes off of turn number three. And it looked like he just got a big run. He did. He just got a big run right here. Looks like he might be able to pull it off, but now there's a left-hand turn down here, and he's on the outside. So Justin Allgaier finds himself leading this race for the first time on the second green-white checker with a third and final coming up. Now, let's show you what happened to brought out the caution, the big mess that ended up at the top of the hill exiting turn number six. Leaders come through. McDowell gets off in the grass. Carmichael's off. Looks like he got three or four wrecks happening together all at one time. McDowell now, his chances go away to win, or it appears. Uh, and uh, Steve Wallace got off and came across the track and collected the floor. 
Here's turn five. Here's turn six. See me, uh, Carmichael going off in front of these cars. Just real aggressive driving, guys. Uh, driver and crew chief of the 66 called to the Nationwide Series hauler to visit with officials after the race. So uh, caution out for what is now the sixth time in this race. And Andy, it really does set up a fuel question for these guys. A big time. I looked at the pit road was closed when they came by the first time. So it'll be open, should be open this time by. We'll see what can happen. I mean, you got to put it in perspective. Uh, you know, green white checker here is what? Eight, at least eight miles, right? Two yep. laps. That's yep. 16 laps at Martinsville. Yep. So that's a lot of fuel. And it's just going to be surprising to me if you don't see a lot of cars having to pit here. And they're all running around, shutting it off, saving fuel. And one of these times, they're not going to fire back up. Yeah. So we had 24 cars on the lead lap. Going to lose a couple of those due to accident cars. But we're still going to have somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 cars. And again, Michael McDowell. What happened there? I can't tell you. He hasn't, he hasn't flinched all day. He just got pressured, guys, yeah. in my opinion. I mean, that turn five is one that sucks him right in there. And boy, Al guy right on his rear end and just, and he got out deep. And when you get in the other side of those strips down in turn five, it's hard to get back over. 